are you? Hey, hey everybody. Thank you for joining. Let me just make sure I am in all the positions. Hello, hello. Have you guys are ready to join in? Hi, Erica. Who else is on? Hey guys, hi. Looks like because it's my farewell, everyone's joining in. I love this. Good to see you all. All right, so let me just quickly get this set up. Let me make sure everyone is in their correct positions. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Emma. Emil. Nice to see you all. I'm trying to stay so that I can see everybody in all the places because we love technology. All right. Hey guys, love to see you. Okay, so a bit of context for today. Today is my last day here at Vulcan Steel. Uh, my last day on site officially. I might come back and do some stuff if everyone asks really nicely. But um, uh, today is the last day and I've been so beautifully blessed to have everybody popping into the gym today to say goodbye. Um, and tonight is our final workout together. Um, so thank you all for joining in. Thank you for being present. Um, thank you to Megan and the team for my, my good luck bamboo plant. Oh, let me share it with you guys. Hold on one second. Just while I'm waiting for everyone to get on. Let me share. So I've always wanted one of these. I've always wanted one. And now I get to have one. So thank you guys for my beautiful plant, my lucky plant. I'm very, very feeling loved. And for apparently Megan's got ideas, but we're going to go racing down the uh, river down the Gold Coast. Apparently there's a creek that we can uh, blow these up and have a race. And if you know me, you know that I am the biggest kid in the world. So thank you for my farewell presence, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm looking forward to having some cool races when we're allowed to go back out and socialise again because I'm just a giant kid and everyone knows it. Megan knows it. So, of course, if she challenges me to a blow-up inflatable animal race, naturally, I will say yes. I'll be there with bells on. And my lucky plants, because why not? I love plants. I've been looking for one of these. So I'm so chuffed. And it even wraps around it. Anyway, I'm just wasting time until everyone jumps on. And we're going to do today's workout. So today's workout is one that I was doing yesterday. I don't mind doubling up. And it was just while I was doing a training session. Um, uh, Natalie's saying meeting is showing up not valid. Oh, give me one second, guys. One, one second. Let me just get this to work. Okay. Uh, 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 technical issues. Of course there's technical issues on my last day. Of course. Why wouldn't there be? All right. Give me two seconds, guys. I'll just get this up and running. Man, Natalie, hold it. Hold. I will give you the link. I don't know why it's not working. Let's go. Uh, Natalie, if you are, oh, uh, 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 hold it. Oh, I'm about ready to punch my computer right now. Technology. All right, let's see if I can get this to work now. Unmute invite email copy url oh we're getting there guys thank you thank you thank you for your patience thank you natalie i'm going to pop the link below the vulcan post i'm also going to privately message it to natalie because i'm just on vulcan at the moment natalie try that one it should work Justin Clark, let me know if it doesn't. Jump on the meeting on Zoom. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're going to jump on live then. Try that link, Natalie. Okay. Shield Maiden is on. Yes. 
Greening, thank you for everything. Thank you for being here. Bye, everybody. And um, it's been a pleasure. I'll be sad yet excited. Thank you. Thank you. What a joy to be surrounded by such incredible humans all the time. Okay, guys. So thank you for joining in live. Uh, if you want to have your screens on, just make sure you've got your camera facing and your camera turned on. That way I can see you if you want to. Um, and I'll be able to give you guys pointers on positions and training technique. If not, you can just hang in and I will try and keep up any comments that you pop up. Um, I will make sure I can see them. Okay, so like I was saying, today's workout is one that I was actually inspired by last night while I was doing a training module with our global genetic community. Let me just grab that camera. Okay. And all I was doing was I was determined to get a workout in and I can get a little bit grumpy sometimes if I don't get to train. So these bands are awesome. They can be bought from Coles, Woolies, wherever. Um, and I'm just going to do this a favor because I know what I'm about to do with you guys. What I'm doing with you guys today, I'll go back to the one for the push-ups because I know that me trying to do the push-ups, I almost cried last night. So using this band, we're going to do the whole body workout. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to try and get through two rounds, but we're going to warm up first. So let's get into it. Hello, pretty. Um, you made it worse. Oh, bugger. Let me kind of clean it up. Thank you for your feedback. I swear. I just, I look like I'm glowing. That's cool. All right. So warming up, guys. <laughs> so minimal space. Let's do maximum effect. Um, we're going to do our five inch worms. I really love this movement because it really gets you to use, um, it really gets you to use your whole body when you're moving. And that's the main objective here, guys. I'm just getting feedback on our cameras. Feedback on our cameras. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. All blurry. Apparently, it's not to say that way. What else? Okay, inchworms. So, feet short width apart. We're literally just bending over, touching the ground, walking your hands out all the way to the ground, touch, lift your bum, poke it up to the sky, walk it back, and stand up. All right, let's do five of those. Down, walk it out, touch the ground. Push up, lift your bum, walk it back, run your hands at the front of your body, and up. Let's go down again. Go for three, lifting up, bum up in the air, belly button into your spine, pulling up nice and tall. Last one, going down to the ground, walk it out, touch the ground. Oh, lift, 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 pushing up, and back down. Then we're going to go in for our front swings. Our front swings, just a little polish, yeah. Just needed to polish a little bit. Um, front swing, so choose a side, balance point if you need it, and we're just going to swing our legs open and wide, open and wide. For 10, 4, 5, really stretch back, 6, 7, Nine, ten, change sides. Yes, I don't have a very good balance point. Something I'm working on. Has anyone set themselves any goals coming through isolation through the next bit of time? Now that we're going to be more time to ourselves, some of this. I'm going to be working on handstands and chin ups. I've managed through this last four weeks to smash out my um, push ups. Let's go out to the side. So just across the body, up and out. Just across the body, up and out. As far as you can. So I've definitely managed to improve my push-ups, which has helped me to feel a little more confident about trialing something a little more intricate, and that would be chin-ups. Chin-ups and two more. One, two, other leg. And for me, I want to learn how to do push-ups, guys. I'm a heavy human, if you haven't noticed. Me trying to do push-ups, a little bit scary, but I'm determined to give them a go. Pick it up, pick it up. Three, two, one. Let's bring the shoulders in. Let's go rotating forward. Oh, I don't get my hair's getting caught. It's so great having long hair. 
four, three, two, one, reverse it back. Oh, who else has got some clicks going on? Who's joining in? Erica, you doing this bad? Tell me, Erica, are you still down in Melbourne? Right, turn it back. Three, two, one. And we're going to finish it off with five jump squats. Jump squats, yes, I said jump squats. So, feet out, knees out, let's touch the ground, touch, jump it up. Let's go up one, touch the ground, touch, jump up two, touch the ground, jump up three, touch the ground, jump up four, touch the ground, jump up five. Woo. Let's just have everything all. Two more weeks, Erica, let's catch up when you get back. If you're allowed back when the quarantine lifts. Good guys, good job, good job. Everyone got a bit of a puff on there. All right, so the workout is consisting with resistance bands. So step number one, we are doing lunges. We're gonna do 10, uh, 12 lunges on each leg. Choose a leg, step forward. Make sure the band is on the arch of your foot so you don't risk it flinging up and being the next YouTube hilarious funny video. From here, take the band. You can choose to hold it in your hands, but bring it up around your neck. Okay, so band around the foot and around neck. Use your hands. If you push your hands out, you're going to add a little bit more resistance. From here, feet shoulder width apart, if not a bit wider, and keep your balance. We're going to go down to 12 lunges, guys. Let's go straight down. One, two, Three, good, four, five. Take conscious awareness of where your knee is going. Is it wobbling down the back? Over halfway. Or are you managing to keep it quite strong? Pushing slight resistance out. Three, two, and one. Standing up. Take your other foot, step on it. Release your foot, adjust it around your hair. Again, foot forward, foot back, wide stance. From here, coming down into the line, just take it down. One, two, let's start to pay attention to that knee. Where is the tracking? Is the knee going out over the toes or we've got a wobble going on? Use this opportunity to just be aware of what the body's doing. Where are we moving? I'm just adding a bit of extra tension here. If you don't have one, oh, sorry, guys. If you don't have a band, you can be doing this with dumbbells. Here, 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 wherever you want. Let's have a dumbbell dance party. Two, last one. Down. The next one, this is the careful part. Come up over your head, release it towards your foot, okay? <laughs> the next one is push ups. This one's a really strong one. I am going to chicken out and not do a really strong one. But take that band. Do you grab one of these? Grab the band, put your hands in the band. Put the band behind your shoulders. From here, we're going to down to push up position. So whether it is on your knees or on your feet, hands shoulder width apart, up onto your toes or onto your knees. And from here, control the drop, squeeze it up nice and tall. So we've come on to the side, so you guys can see the side profile. Coming up, come down for the push up. Squeeze and come back up. We're going for 10, guys. Just 10. Squeeze and push back up. Good. Keep it up. Squeeze at three. What have we got here? Go down, push it up. Squeeze at five. Hey, there's heaps of people on today. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Augusta. Hey, people. All right, six. You got seven. Coming up, coming down. Squeeze, that's eight. Control movement. Nine. Core tight. Ten, squeeze and come up. From here. Five, let's go back. I'm going back to my figure band. Again, guys. Choose your bands. Hey, 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 guys. Thanks for joining. Got a comment from Natalie. 
You're trying to kill me. Yes, Natalie, with love, as our farewell, I'm trying to kill you. <laughs> All right, guys, wrap it around your neck. For this one, we want a wide squat. So coming down, step one side and the other side, and we're going to stand up. Now shuffle it out. Okay, shuffle it out. From here, make sure you're not pulling in your hair. Yeah, strengthening is not the greatest. Nice and wide from here. I'm gonna keep my hands up because I like to keep my chest up. And I find that if my hands are up here, my chest is gonna stay up here. From this position, we're going into a squat. Knees out wide, chest up, stand, squeeze the glutes and stand up tall. Side profile is from here, bum down, squeeze and stand up, bum in nice and tight. That's two, let's keep it up. Three, can we go for 12? Four, stand and squeeze nice and tight. Five, sorry, three, four. Talking and counting at the same time. Five. Six, squeeze up. You should be able to feel your backside. You should be able to feel all of those sexy muscles. Squealing at this. All the way down, all the way up, nice and tight. If you're needing more weight, there is no reason why you cannot stick some dumbbells in your hand as well. If you're doing it with dumbbells and not using a band, same principle, last one. After this, <laughs> one more, come on. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good job. And next one is shoulders. So. Leave it wrapped around your shoulders. Come down carefully. Take one foot back and place your knee on it. Take the other foot back and place your knee on it. Okay, so it's wrapped around your knees and around your shoulders. From here, take each side, lift it to the front of your chin. So knees shoulder width apart, find a comfortable position. From here, okay. Elbows in, and let's take our arms straight, squeezing up above the head as high as you can. If you want to put dumbbells in your hand for this, you can. Come back down to the chin. Elbows, keep them out into the same position. Straight up and down, squeeze up nice and tight. Control it down. Squeeze up nice and tight. Control it down. How are we going, Natalie? Squeezing up nice and tight. So I've got Zoom going here, guys, and I've got the computer and the phone. Squeezing up all the way, controlling the drop. Squeezing up. That's only six. We've got four more, guys. Four, guys, four more. One, squeeze it all the way up. Belly button tight. There's a thumbs up. Awesome. Good work, Natalie. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> All the way up, nice and tight, all the way to the sky. Belly button in, nice and tight. Dropping down. Last one. Push, 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 push. Push through that then. Control it back down. And next is going to be a row. So from here, simply bump, drop your bum back towards the ground. Feet out in front of you. I'll just, I'll change some angles of cameras. I want you all to be able to see. All right. From here, you're going to take your feet, wrap the band around the um, arch of your feet, wrap it around a second time, and bring it back to yourself. So the band should be coming at you from the outside of your foot of this position. Slight bend in the knees. I want you guys to grab from just above your, just above your ankles. Sit up nice and tall, belly button in tight. Okay, and from here, we're going to row and squeeze it back and release. Row and squeeze it back and release. We're going to 12 of these. If you don't have a band, follow with me. I'm just going to stand up with this. Keep up, not to stay where you are. If you've got dumbbells, you're going to be a little something like this in this position. Okay, bum back. And you're gonna squeeze your dumbbells back, control the drop. Squeeze your dumbbells back, 
control the drop. Now, if you want to, you can try standing up with the bands on or stay sitting, control the drop. Squeeze it back, control the drop. Give it a moment, pause at the top here, control the drop. Squeeze, control, squeeze. Last three, guys. Last two. Give it a good shake and top. I want to see you guys tremble and release it. Unwind the feet. Good work, guys. Good work. I'm sweating. Okay, it's turning curly. All right. Our last exercise is this side tap. So, coming onto the ground, feet. Make sure you guys can see me. Okay, feet are going to tuck in close to your bum. Okay, the closer you can get them in, the better. Take your hands and we're gonna try and tap one pinky toe with our fingers, then the other pinky toe, one pinky toe, the other pinky toe. We're going forward 10 to 20, okay? <laughs> 10 to 20, let's see how many you can do. So let's go, ready, one, two, three, I'm gonna count doubles, four, because it sounds better, five, six, seven, eight, tuck your chin, nine, 10, let's keep going, 12, sorry, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and done. If you are an activator or a connector health type, I want you to give me 10 jump squats. If you are a guardian or a diplomat and you feel like doing three or four jump squats, you go for it. I'll do it just because we're talking about it. If you are puffed and you need a rest, now is your time to rest. Okay, so I'm gonna do four, ready? Touch the ground, jump, one. Touch the ground, two. Touch the ground, three. Touch the ground, four. And I'm gonna rest. Guys, if you're a diplomat or a guardian, be resting. Resting, resting, resting. Just for shits and giggles, Megan brought in a heap of banana bread. I totally ate three pieces, so I deserve the extra job squats there. Hey Sage, hey Melissa. Whew, okay, so Natalie, how are you feeling? Are you hatching your breath right now, darling? Whew, did you live? Catch your breath. It's really important. As much as you can go, go, go. If you're an activator or a connector, you could be doing some skipping now, you could be doing some more jumps, you could be doing some more push-ups, whatever you feel like doing or simply catching your breath. But as an endomorph, it's super important for us to get our breath back down again and reboot the body ready for round two. Okay, guys, so back into it. Let's go. Grab your band. Put your foot one foot forward. Okay, band goes around your neck. Carefully, very carefully. And from here, nice wide stance. Yep, I'm going to come down into our squat uh, lunges. So, kneeling down, standing up. That's it. Focus on that knee at the front. Where is it going? Are you wobbling? Where's the weight distribution going through your foot? Are you going mostly into your toes? Mostly into your heels? What can you do to help keep your balance? Halfway now, we've got six more. One, two, that's good, guys, that's good. Three, four, push through, Nat, push through, Con. One more. Standing up tall. Change your foot, so just straight put the foot down. Step to the side, make sure you've got it on the arch of your foot, guys. Remove the first foot. Adjust your neck, stepping back nice and wide. And from here, let's go the other leg. Up one, up two, up three, four, five. Like I said, if you need to, you can be adding some dumbbells to this. So you can hold in up here or up here. What have you got at home? Maybe there's a child you can have across your shoulders while you're doing this, right? 
three more. One, two, three. Good job. Now we're into the push up. So lift the band over your head, relaxing it. If you're using the same band, that's fine. I'm getting good at my push ups, but I'm not that good. Otherwise, hands inside the band, band behind your shoulders. Then from here, we're going to go into push ups. If you can't do push ups and you're on your knees and you're still struggling with this one, stand up and simply just work on creating a square. Control, creating a square, control. These are more advanced push ups. So we're getting these done. Really awesome work, guys. I'm super proud of you. Coming down into the push up position. Let's go. We're doing 10 in total. Down, squeeze it up. Down, touch, squeeze it up. Three, ooh. Coming down, squeeze out four, five. You might notice I'm touching my knees to the ground on my way up, coming up and controlling my drop. Knees down, push up. Control the drop. Push up, last one guys, come on. Touch. Woo. Good job guys, good job. Catch your breath for a second, let me just check no one's dying. Hey Joe. hey Aria. Okay, so again, grab your strongest band. Let's go over the, what about your squats? Over the neck, let's come down and put our feet in it. Coming down, one foot in shoulder width, other foot down shoulder width. Stand tall, adjust it around your neck. Let's bring our feet out a little bit wider. That's it, nice and wide. From here, let's come down, chest up. Touch as deep as you can. Squeeze and come up nice and tall. Squeeze the buttocks to the top. Drop it down low. Squeeze the glutes and come up. Side profile might help you guys a bit more. Make sure you're coming down, bum back. Don't come so low that you're hunching over and losing your strength. I lost my balance. Come down and make sure you can feel your backside, your thighs, your knees, fully engaged the whole way. Okay? So no losing control at any point. If you start dropping down low and you notice you can't feel your glute muscles activated, you've fallen too deep. Touch, squeeze, push, come up. Coming down, make sure those knees on the way up and the way down are nicely aligned over our toes. Down and back, squeeze and come up. Give me three more. Squeeze and come up. Remember those glutes should be engaged the whole time. There's no getting out of this. Last one, squeeze and come up. All right, stay in them in the band, come down, we're gonna take one foot out, come down, take one foot out and replace your foot with your knee, take the second foot out, replace it with your knee on the ground. From here, bring the band out in front of your head and put it so that it's inside of your palms of your hand, fingers up. From here, we're gonna do a shoulder press. So. Belly button tucked under. I'll give you guys a fine profile this time. So, bum tight, tip the uh, wee muscles under, chest up, shoulders back, and from here, pressing up above, control the drop. Up, two, so no flexing of the spine, guys. Don't push out when you're coming up. Keep that belly button tucked in. Three, Four, five, squeeze it up, you feel a good burn. Six, seven, come on, keep it up. Eight, three more. Nine, and ten, squeeze, bring it down. Our next one is the row, guys. We're almost there. The row. Do you remember? 
We're about to get around the, the uh, arch of our feet around the second time. So the band's coming from the outside of your foot. I want you guys to grab just above your ankle, only just, just above your ankle, about a fist above your ankle. Up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. And from here, we are squeezing and rolling back. And release, control the release. Squeeze two. My spine is not moving, it is just my arms. Squeeze, release. Squeeze. The more time you spend under tension, so the more time you spend in this position, the better. Really focusing on, for women, focus when your bra straps don't do up. You should feel them contracting. Your bra straps is where you're focusing all of your thoughts, all of your energy. Belly button in tight. Breathing through the movement, guys. Control the release. Squeeze it up and back. Control the release. I'm going to give you guys give me four more. One. Two. Three. Last one, we need to hold it. Hold it back, hold it back, hold it back, hold it back. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Five, four, three. Natalie's swearing at me, I'm sure. Two, and release and control that. Unwind your feet. Bend off to the side. From here, guys, coming onto your back. Feet up towards your bum. Belly button nice and tight. Chin tucked. Okay, from here we're taking our hands and we're going to tap the little toes one at a time, okay? Twisting through the core, just twisting the torso. Are we ready? 20 doubles. Set. Let's go. Double tap. One, two, three, four. Get some speed up. Five, six, seven. Watch the chair. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Reach for 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good job, guys. Roll to your side. Come on up. Let's everybody, the last bit of energy you've got, we're going to go for 10 jump squats. Get the most that you can. I want to know how many you can do, guys. Do the best that you can with this one. Right, so 10 jump squats, get some shits and giggles, touch the ground, jump up. Let's go. One, do as many as you can, Nat. Two, three, touch it. Four, touch it. Five, three hands. Six, it helps you get higher. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Holy guacamole, how good was that? Are we dying? <sighs> Good work. Perfectly finished with myself. So guys, that was only two rounds. We've got more time. I'm trying to keep this to 20 minutes. I've just gone over. So if you've got more time, you want to do another round? Please, she did 10. Yes. Yes, Natalie, you nailed it, you machine. All right, so let's do some cool down. Um, Bending at the hips, relaxing the chest to the legs. If you need to bend your knees to achieve it, you bend your knees. But we want to try and work on straightening the legs out. You should feel a good stretch at the back of the legs. And if you bring your hands and cross them over, let go of your neck, let go of everything and just hang for a second. You should feel a bit of a releasing of the spine and the upper torso. <sighs> Walk those feet out a bit wider. Okay, nice and wide. Hands to your wherever you can reach. If you can't, and this is as good as you can get, that's absolutely fine. So grabbing and leaning forward as best you can. Let's drop down from this position into a wide squat. Hands together. Use your elbows to push out on the knees. While the knees agitate and push in. 
Really good stretch through the groin area, through the legs, through the glutes. Take the bum up, nice and tall, and come back down again. Push it out. From here, just sit your bum down. Down. Take one leg out, one leg in. Keeping the torso up nice and tall, just extra stretch through those legs. Just because I know how much our legs need it at the moment. I know Natalie's will be feeling it nicely. So just slightly lean forward. I don't want you leaning over. Nice and tall, slightly lean forward towards that foot with your chest, chest towards it. Bringing it together, chest up, let's push down on both legs. Rock it from side to side if you need to. Bring yourself in closer towards your feet. Push down. Deep breath in, <sighs> deep breath out. Change, one leg out, one leg in. Chest up, lean towards the foot. Good. Deep breath in. Push a bit further. Come back to sitting wherever you feel comfortable. One hand across the body. Do those shoulders. Which was your favorite exercise or which was the toughest exercise, Matt? Anybody watching who did that exercise? Anyone watching the replay? What was your favorite exercise? Or your hardest exercise? Bringing it over, stretching it out. Check comments, keep it up. Ooh. Keep it up. Those push ups were evil. <laughs> yes. Push ups for the win. From here, let's take our hands behind us. Interlock your fingers. Stretch them back. Not strong enough yet. Yeah, and that, that's one of the build ones. So if that becomes too hard, you just do the standing up version. And alternate that Sundays do um, a push up, and then another day use the resist, resistance band to do a push press. Okay, stretching them out. Hands up, pick an elbow, take it back. Keep your belly button tucked under. Chest up. Good job. Hands up. Change. Pull back. Chest up. Awesome, guys. Shake it out. It has been such a pleasure to be amongst a crew. I know that it's really cool that due to COVID-19, We've ended up with a lot of people training for home from home and a lot of people actually keen to come back into the gym when it opens who may have not been so keen before. It's kind of interesting when things get taken away from us, how uh, suddenly we realise we may just want those things. We quite often take our things for granted and uh, it's very easy to do. So I'm really excited to watch everyone's journey. I will be not on site, but I will still be here with these people in spirit and available to them when they need it. Um, but as you guys know, on Facebook land, on my phone, you guys will always have me and I'll always be in self-evolution coaching, sharing what I love and doing what I can to assist you all getting through these times and understanding what freaking, careful my swearing, what strong, capable humans you all are. We've all got so much capability and capacity. The only thing that's stopping you is this one. Your head is the only thing that's getting in your way. Nothing else. What we allow, what we choose. Food for thought. Happy Wednesday. Love and light to you all. I miss all those at Vulcan already. I already got a couple sneaky hugs and a couple high fives and a couple goodbyes. And I, I really feel appreciated here. So thank you all for such an incredible journey. And um, I will see you all on the flip side, somewhere in social media land. And um, I'm excited for what the future holds for each and every one of you because there is so much potential out there. Bye.